But the Jew, Jewish cats don't do that. The uh, Chinese people don't do that. You go to China, Latin, man. Latin Mexican folks. Don't yeah, Mexicans yeah. don't do. I mean, you know, we just, uh, we just, we just hate each other, man. It's well, so, I, 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 I some just, niggas I can't stand. I couldn't be in the same room with them. I, I'm aware that a lot of people don't know nothing but what they know. Like, if you really did, did you hear? Did you hear what I said? People don't know nothing but what they know. Yeah, real shit. You can't be mad at somebody because they don't know nothing. Right, yeah. that's how they. they I them. know most of the condos in New York and San Francisco aren't even occupied because rich people bought them and they just use them if they happen to come there. That's wild. Mm. <laughs> so when you get to talking about what people are supposed to have, I'm trying to tell you, if you really feel like that sky is yours God gave you. If you feel like your heart is yours God gave you. It ain't no limitations to nothing I'm accepting. That's what I'm trying to say. I will do whatever I have to to go out there and be something while this heart is still beating. And I'm wise enough to know everybody ain't good enough to do that. I'm wise enough to know everybody can't find their place. Some people need to be placed or they won't even dare walk off the fucking mountaintop and die. Right. I'm smart enough to know that. So when we say what people should have, all I'm saying is this, man. There are a lot of people who are so well off financially, dog. It will make the people who don't know nothing about it go to war. Uh, They'll yeah, be like, I mean, I'm out here busting my ass to get it. <laughs> and how did they get it? You know how most people, you know how most Caucasian people got rich in America? Slavery. Yeah. And it's generational wealth. It's just been in there. Slavery. Time. Because, <laughs> yeah, because you was, your people were slaves. They still are ahead of you telling you what to do. <laughs> That's some real shit. And if you, if you <laughs> just think about that for a minute, don't that make you feel like, what the fuck? That's not right. Mm. It's never been righted. The wrong has never been righted. If That's what I'm trying to say. Yeah. So when we get to saying what people supposed to have and all that shit, man, trust me. You were kidnapped from a place that was rich in food, rich in gold, rich in whatever, and brought here to be a nothing for little punk motherfuckers that can't run and jump. The motherfucking weakest people, we are their slaves. That's all I'm saying. It's just people don't understand that. So I know why people go through life feeling like they feel because they really don't know. We supposed to have this. We supposed to. Nah, you ain't even supposed to be here. Hey, check this out. <laughs> check this out. This is how greedy the motherfuckers are. When you talk about people would be mad, I found a stat, a fact that says, um, "It's a Craig fact or somebody else fact." This is a this is a, 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 a Google fact. A Google fact it says, according to analysis, if they put a five percent tax on the world's multimillionaires and billionaires, it would raise one point two trillion dollars a year, and that would be enough to li uh, to lift two billion people out of poverty. But they ain't trying to do that, right? <laughs> D, that was the realest shit you ever said on the 5150 show. It's been done. They talk about that a lot, but it's never done. <laughs> shit your ass. No, I'm just saying, D, that but. was the real shit. People don't understand. <laughs> Nothing is a coincidence. You are where you are because that's where they want you to be. Sure. And you don't know how to find your way out of that matrix. They tell you, lift they yourself up by the bootstrap. Start doing done. comedy. No, no, there are people that think you're supposed to work hard. You got to work hard. <laughs> That's what they say, live yourself. You got to get out there and what go get saying? it. Yeah, work yourself to death. You got to. You work. can't wear them new shoes like that. Or how about, how about those wear them shoes you got to the hole fall out. <laughs> how about the same? You can sleep when you die. The hole fall out. Right. What the fuck? Yeah, what you, you say, D? What they say? You oh. can sleep when you die. Yeah. You ain't got no time to go sleep. You got to get out there and get it. <laughs> No ignorant motherfucker over there with that new jacket on. <laughs> I can't stand motherfuckers like that. <laughs> what the like fuck that? is you talking about? Uh, you work smart, not hard. You're supposed to be out here with me in this field. God damn it, time to make the donut. Get the fuck out of here. I, I would never do it like that. What black people are finding hard to conceptualize is what is exactly happening 
to black people in the black community. In very simple terms, black people were made to be exactly where they are. Every single one of us. Corey mentioned a lot of things. Mentioned how the ruler, the ruling race is the weakest race. How black people see this, witness it, but never understand how is it that even after all these years, they are still ruling, knowing physically, mentally, and in different aspects, you are the stronger race. Now, slavery started and has enriched everybody except for black people, as this was the only way for them to survive. I don't know if people know this or really understand this, slavery wasn't a quick rich scheme. It was, we aren't the fittest to survive, so what else can we do to thrive? I'm sure some know, but those who don't, Indians also were enslaved at one time, but it wasn't as brutal or as close as black people's history. It's because Indians, other races, never had the same strength, knowledge or minerals. They never worked as hard, always stopped. It was a major loss for the white society. But as they are a ruling race who rule today, then, way before history, they the minority. The real minority didn't have the strength, stamina, knowledge, all the good things to make a success out of his society and to have it survive, to have generations to continue. And this is what Corey is saying. Things were purposely set a certain way to allow the ruling race today to thrive. And they couldn't do it without slavery. It couldn't just be any slave. It had to be black slaves, as they were their best assets to becoming what they have become today. All the money made from 400 years of slavery, black people hear this, but they think, yeah, so what? 400 years of wealth is now being used 400 years later for their generations to continue and inherit more. All that really needs to be done is how can you use this wealth wisely to continue to be ahead of the game? Which is another way of saying the system or the institution placed accurately for every individual to either succeed or fail. Corey also stated were not even supposed to be here, which is very true. They rather live with the amount they made from us and be done with us. But that has proven it is impossible. So the best way to be done with the black community is by defeating them mentally. So in reality terms, we are already gone to some extent. That's why he will also say it's not a coincidence. It never was if they can't get rid of you physically after black African Americans built everything and Africans resourced everything. So nothing more left for you to do. And if you will now be here, as you can be physically gotten rid of, you will be placed exactly where they want you to be. And it's hard to fathom when you can't exactly see it and it's not tangible enough. Another way, not everyone believes or knows it, but this is exactly what it is. Corey is 
a comedian so his humor is full of truth but what black people should take from this is the ruling race had to rule to even be here in the first place and with what they've gained from you they're just using it against you and it may not feel real or look it but that's exactly what is happening and a lot of times black females will be angry at the black man for not owning anything companies corporate world but where he is at is where they have put him where Corey is at is where they have put him and that goes for the same for the black women and the females as well i'm your host remnant princess these are my last thoughts the way Corey broke down everything was very interesting full of truth in it and full of history even though not much was said but black people don't realize how much a minority the ruling race was and how before they enslaved black people they had to enslave other races to realize that the only way to thrive is by using the best asset which was black people let me know what you think thank you for watching don't forget to like comment and subscribe bye